this question, we've got quite a common type of GCSE vector proof. So starting off, we'd like to show the vector CD is equal to 6A plus 4.5B. Let's look at how we get there. To go from C to D, we have to break this path down, actually. So we can't go directly from C to D. We have to go from C to A and then from A to D. So CA plus AD. Well, our next issue here is that actually CA is not given to us. We were given A to C the other direction. So let's rewrite it in terms of what we've got. We've got a minus A to C traveling the other direction. We were given though A to D, this vector. So putting those two back into what we've got, well, minus AC is our minus 3B that we've got here. So minus 3B. And then adding our AD vector, we have 6A plus 7.5B. So 6A plus 7.5B. And now adding everything up that we've got, in terms of A's, we just have our plus 6A. We'll put 6A. And for our B's, we have minus 3 plus 7.5 which gives us a plus 4.5b. So that's part A done. For part B, we have quite a common theme in this question. It tells us that BCD is a straight line. We need to work out the value of k in this vector here, BA. And the common theme that's often in vector proofs is when you're showing something as a straight line or showing that things are parallel, we're looking for scalar multiples of vectors. So let's use two vectors that we can find. We can find the vector b to c. So that's going to be the first one to find. And then after that, we're going to look for the vector b to d. So it's b to c and b to d. And what we want to do is show that b to d is a multiple of b to c. That means they're parallel. And additionally, they both share B in common, so if they're parallel, they must be the same line. So starting off then, well, B to C, we go from B to A, that's KA, and then we add our 3B. So we've got KA plus 3B. And from B to D, this vector, we also do a KA, and then we add our 6A plus 7.5B. So we've got Ka plus 6A plus 7.5B. And actually, I'm going to factorise my A's here to make it a little bit nicer. So we've got K plus 6A's plus 7.5B. So here's where the big idea comes in. We would like to say this vector is a multiple of this vector. And let's write it a little bit differently to make it really clear what we're saying. We're saying that if you take Ka plus 3b and you multiply this by something, we don't know what the thing is at the moment, but I'm just going to put a multiplication sign. If we multiply by a number, we're going to end up with k plus 6a and also our plus 7.5b. So the number that we're multiplying by, we have one clue that tells us how to find this. We need to look at the b's, because b has gone from 3 multiplied by something to get 7.5. So that missing number is 2.5, isn't it? 3 times 2.5 to get to 7.5. And this gives us the clue to the question, because it's telling us that k times 2.5 is k plus 6. So let's write down what that tells us. It tells us 2.5k equals k plus 6. And solving to find k, well, we need to take away k from both sides. So we should get 1.5k is 6, dividing by 1.5 to get k equals 4.